Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today, we just wanted to give you a brief walkthrough of this version of the Control 4 Whole Home Audio System. This is the front view of our three main components, and I'll spin it around and give you a peek at the side profile and the back where we have all of our connections, our inputs and outputs. We'll start at the top with the EA1 controller. This is the brains of the operation, our audio streaming device. In another video, we'll go into more detail about this powerful little guy, but for now, we'll just focus on the audio aspect. You'll be connecting to this through your phone, your tablet, or even voice control by Alexa to choose your music and the rooms you want to listen in. You can use a variety of streaming services from Spotify to Tidal or SiriusXM for music. Next up, we have our 8x8 audio matrix switch. It sounds super techy, but this guy basically directs which song plays in which room. Our matrix sits at the center, connecting to both the controller, our audio streamer, and the amplifier that I'll be showing you next. You can see from the back that it has eight audio outputs that take the sound to the amplifier. And on the other side, eight source inputs for connecting any music devices with RCA output connections. This means we can have different things playing in up to eight different rooms. One thing playing in eight rooms or any combination in between. And finally, we have our 8-zone amplifier. This is the endpoint device that gives us our sound. As you can see from the rear again, we have our speaker connections, so we can power up to 8 pairs of speakers in different rooms of the house. We sometimes call a pair of speakers in a specific room a zone. So, right next to the speaker connections, we have our 8-zone inputs, which come directly from the audio matrix switch. Again, having eight of these inputs gives us the ability to play eight different things in eight different rooms or one thing in all eight rooms at the same time. Okay, let's go ahead and restack these guys. So now that I've given you a brief overview of the system, I'll give you a quick tour of the app interface to demonstrate for you how the streamer the audio matrix, and the amplifier work in action. We'll begin by going to the Control 4 OS 3 app, choosing our room from the room selector at the top, because this will be based on rooms, then pressing the listen icon from our options. From here, we can see some of our streaming options, but for now, we'll be using our Sirius XM for this demo. We can browse through our channel selections tab then pick a channel to start playing. Now that we've got some music going, we can see our album art appear. Right below is our volume slider and the play stop button. We don't have a forward or back button since this is satellite radio, but they do appear as needed. To play music in other rooms, we click the plus sign on the top right corner to show our room selector. Now we can pick the rooms we want to listen in and we're able to control the room volumes individually or with the master volume control at the top. To stop listening in other rooms, uncheck the circle. Once we've made our selections, press done to bring us back to our listening window. In the top left corner of our listening window, we have our home button and our back button. We'll press back to step us back into our source list to see our other streaming options. Now, if we're done with Sirius, we can choose from our list, like Tidal for Hi-Fi Audio, TuneIn for Terrestrial Radio, or Spotify for Streaming. Now, we'll press the Home button to take us back into the room where we can see our listen option again. Except now, we also see what we're currently listening to. If we press on what's currently playing, we'll get similar options as in our Listen menu to add rooms or control the volume. We'll press back again, and from the main window, we'll use a room selector again to pick another room. The options are the same, except that there's nothing playing in this room at the moment, so the listen button is grey, or not active. So we'll go back to our room that we're currently listening in, so we can see the various places we can use to turn off the room or end the session. Turning off the room will stop all audio and video that's currently playing in that room. If you're playing music in multiple rooms, you can turn off the audio individually or all together. 
With its intuitive interface and slick design, this system is one of our favorites. For more info, and to see if this is the right solution for you, reach out using the info at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.